Airbus A380. With all that space, the aircraft has been one of the passengers' favourite. Space is used to provide amenities not found on other aircraft. Spas, showers and more. But can the aircraft also be used to carry something else? Something that doesn't need plush seats or any of those amenities? In today's analysis, we take a look at the cancelled A380 freighter and why this aircraft never quite took off, no pun intended. Before we do, if you are new here, do consider subscribing and stay tuned for more great videos on the way. The never developed A380F, the aircraft would have been the largest freighter based on a passenger program ever to fly and has performance to match. A380 freighter was supposed to carry 150 tons of payloads to a distance of 5,600 nautical miles. To put that in perspective, based on figures only, the aircraft can carry an empty A350-900 in weight from Singapore to Dubai non-stop. The aircraft was targeted to replace older 747-400 freighters with lower fuel burn per tonne than the 747. Orders for the type actually picked up, with airlines placing orders for 27. Emirates placed orders for both A380 passenger and freighter aircraft, as both could be flown with the same crew, reducing costs for airlines. All of these orders though would quickly be cancelled, and the A380 freighter would never go on to be developed. Why is that so? Well, the main reason is that Airbus themselves axed the program. Due to huge logistical issues assembling the passenger version, Airbus pulled the plug on developing the freighter version, meaning a huge delay to deliveries. By then, FedEx and other customers had already placed orders for the 777 freighter. Secondly, even if the aircraft would go on to be developed, it will not have sold well. Demand for very large freighters have shrunk, similar to demand for very large passenger aircraft. No airline will need the huge payload capability of the A380, while the newly launched 747-8F will cater to most airlines' needs while being 7-10% cheaper to fly. The big issue is the high operating weight MT of over 70 tons heavier than the 747-8 due to the structure of the A380. That said, the A380 freighter would have been the closest thing to an AN-124, or in other words, the Hulk of freighter aircraft. 